So here's a, a, a crack that we marked out. Uh, we marked the templates every 12 inches. So we start three, six, three, six, three, six. And what he's going to show you right now is when we get to the very bottom of the actual crack, we could um, mark with a very small hole, a round hole, because what we do is we drill right through the structure at that point. Obviously being careful to make sure that we're not near any lines and uh, what that does, it creates an expansion joint and doesn't allow the crack to go any further. So what we do is we lay our uh, torque locks out, we have our torque wrench ready, we have our epoxy which comes in the kit ready. Um, we have a pool with about 43 linear feet of structural crack, but uh, we're just going to show a demo on two of what we do to get it ready, um, and that's what we're going to do. Hold on, hold on. Okay. So we use our epoxy with the self-mixing tip, we get a little bit of it in there until it oozes out a little bit. Do both. We're going to do it on both of these. This stuff sets up pretty quick, so you want to work pretty quick. If you're doing it like 10 at a time, you want to do them basically all. We have extra tips, so it's not a big deal. And what we're going to do, always set your staple with the square on the inside. That's where it's at its least resistance. And sometimes what you're going to have to do is take a, a hammer to tap it in. Sometimes not. Sometimes it'll just go in. It's sometimes easier to tap it. When you tap it, you want to tap it in evenly. And there you go. That's all the way in. Then you want to let that set up before you torque it. And then you're all set. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to torque it. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we have our torque wrench. We have it set to 40 pounds. And what we're going to do is we're going to torque it down. And what you're doing is you're drawing the pin in until it clicks. There it goes. So now those are both set in, those are both locked in, and now we're going to show you how we cover these over, and when we cover these over, we use the same hydraulic cement to fill in where we crack chased. Then when we're finished, we sponge everything down to consistency. Obviously, in this pool, you can see we've got a lot more staples to go.